November 26, 2017 President Donald Trump earlier this week bashed a plan that would keep NFL teams in the locker room during the national anthem, saying it is almost as bad as kneeling. Trump has criticized free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick who launched the wave of protests during the anthem last season when he kneeled to protest police brutality against African Americans and other inequality on multiple occasions and made claims that players who protest during the anthem should be suspended or released. Several players and coaches reacted strongly to Trump on social media and players joined by coaches and owners, in some instances across the league. Kneeled, locked arms, raised the fists and even refused to come out of the locker room during the national anthem in week three. There have been several more protests since. Previous protests this season, by week 1 1 1 0 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 preseason hurry are the players who protested in week 12 most recent updates first Oakland Raiders running back Marshawn Lynch, undeterred by President Donald Trump's tweet at him last week, remained seated during Eddie Money's rendition of the national anthem before the Raiders game against the Broncos. He has remained seated during the national anthem all season, and he stood for the Mexican national anthem last week in the Raiders game in Mexico City. Lynch has not said why he has remained seated during the national anthem. He wore a t-shirt before the team's week four game that read Everybody vs Trump. Paul Gutierrez Los Angeles Rams outside linebacker Robert Quinn put his right fist in the air during the national anthem before the Rams game against the Saints. Punter Johnny Hecker put his arm around Quinn as a show of support. Running back Todd Gurley and wide receiver Tavon Austin linked arms once again. Alton Gonzalez New Orleans Saints Most of the Saints players briefly knelt in unity before the national anthem against the Rams, as they have done in the past seven games. They then all stood during the anthem, with some players and coaches locking arms. Mike Triplett Seattle Seahawks After standing for the national anthem in recent weeks, several members of the Seahawks defense returned to sitting on the bench before Sunday's game against the 49ers. Those sitting were Michael Bennett, Frank Clark, Jaron Reed, Marcus Smith, Quinton Jefferson, Cliff Avril, Nazair Jones, Sheldon Richardson and Dion Jordan. Two players took a knee defensive tackle Brandon Jackson and left tackle Dwayne Brown. Brady Henderson San Francisco 49ers 3 49ers players receiver Marquise Goodwin, safety Eric Reed, and linebacker Eli Harold knelt during the anthem before Sunday's game against Seattle in their ongoing protest of racial inequality in the country. Safety Adrian Colbert and defensive lineman Solomon Thomas stood next to them with a hand on the shoulder as the anthem played. Nick Wagoner Kansas City Chiefs cornerback Marcus Peters came out of the tunnel after the national anthem was over before the Chiefs game against the Bills. This is the fourth game in a row he has done this. Peters had previously sat on a bench on the sideline for the anthem this season. Adam Tyke of Philadelphia Eagles safety Malcolm Jenkins continued demonstrating for social justice by raising his first above his head during the national anthem before Sunday's game against the Bears. Safety Rodney McLeod joined him by raising a fist. Defensive end Chris Long placed an arm around Jenkins as a sign of support, a gesture he has made since the events in his hometown of Charlottesville, Virginia, this past summer. Tim McManus Miami Dolphins wide receiver Kenny Stills, safety Michael Thomas and tight end Julius Thomas took a knee on the field during the national anthem before the Dolphins game against the Patriots. The trio previously stayed in the locker room for the anthem against the Jets in Week 8, but they have kneeled the past few weeks. Dolphins coach Adam Gase had established a team rule requiring players to either stand for the anthem or stay in the tunnel, but Gase recently told players that if they wanted to come out and kneel, they could do it and they won't be punished for it. James Walker Los Angeles Chargers left tackle Russell Okung stood with the rest of his teammates during the national anthem before Thursday's game against the Cowboys, raising his right fist. He had not raised his fist the past two weeks as the NFL honored the military, but he did it earlier this season. Okung attended a meeting in October with NFL owners and Commissioner Roger Goodell to discuss how the league will handle anthem protests. Earlier this season Okung wrote an open letter to other NFL players on the Players' Tribune, with the goal of overcoming uncharted territory by opening a line of communication and responding with one voice as players. Eric D. Williams' New York Giants' Olivier Vernon continued to be the only Giants player to protest. 
McNeil during the anthem before Thursday night's game against Washington, his third game back after missing four games with an ankle injury. Vernon has done so at every game since week three in Philadelphia. Jordan Ronan